curriculum for the long front, grade 5 in lesson. Today, our lesson is Words of Make Work Easy. By learning this lesson, you all will learn what are the things that we use uh, to make our work easier. Some instruments and some books and some things. What are the things that we uh, use to make our work easier? Okay. And also, you will learn how to use these uh, machines in proper way. Okay. Now, we are going to start our lesson, children. Uh, we know that we do many things in our daily life. To do that things, we need some instruments and sometimes simple machines also. So, uh, the use of simple machines has a very big history. Throughout the history, uh, these simple machines use uh, every person up to date. Now we are going to see what are those simple machines that we are using in our daily lives. I hope that you have learned these uh, simple machines in grade 4 also. We are going to summarize these simple machines. Okay? Right. The lever. What is called the lever? Lever is a kind of a pole, okay, and if you want to uh, lift or move a heavy object one place to another place, we use this lever. It's a kind of you can use uh, any uh, pole, okay, and then by pushing the load, we can move that load into another place very easily. So we don't have to lift the heavy object it is very easy uh, it is very easy to move it to another place using the lever then the next one is the wedge what is called the wedge if you want uh, now this is a we call in single cool name right? uh, so it is often used to split cut or raise heavy object Depending on the angle of the size of the wedge. For example, we can take that uh, log splitter. The next one is the wheel and the axle. I will tell you one good example. Uh, the good ex uh, very good example is uh, for the wheel and the axle is the steering wheel. You know that when we are turning the steering wheel, both the circular part and the um, uh, fixed central fixed axle also both are uh, rotating so that is important uh, that is a special about this wheel and axle both uh, the wheel and the um, axle both are rotating together this is called the wheel and the axle then the other one is the screw a screw acts like an inclined plane that are commonly used with gear or as a fastening machine mechanism. For example, scissors stack car jack and the window winder is a screw. The other one is uh, the inclined plane. What is called the inclined plane? If you want to load some goods into a lorry or something, we can't uh, heavy. Uh, we can't uh, lift those things. So what we are doing is we we have a uh, a slant like a slant uh, road, and from that uh, road we can uh, carry it very easily. Like you can see here, we can roll it to where we are going to. Uh, store those things very easily uh, without wasting our energy. And then the next one is pulley. It's like you can see you can see these things in a well also. Our pulley is uh, we can uh, uh, the use of single fixed pulley and attached 
called allows uh, for a change in the direction of the force applied to an object. They can be used in complex combination to provide mechanical advantages. Example is block. We can uh, easily uh, lift any heavy object uh, without getting tired. Uh, and these are the simple machines. What are the simple machines that we talk about? The lever, wheel and the axle, inclined plane, pulley, screw and the wedge. Those are the simple machines that were using, uh, that were using it from ancient times. Apart from that, nowadays also people are using magnets to do their work easy. Easily. What are the things that do you uh, what things that can we do from the magnet? Magnet is a material or an object that uh, produces a magnetic field. You know, a magnet has magnetic field. It can attach every metal things, not metal things, not the non-metal things. Only the metal things can be attached by the magnets. So, using that property, people are using magnets to do many works. The point of the magnets that have magnetic power are called poles. Now you can see here, there are two poles are there. Those are called the uh, North Pole and the South Pole. Okay. Uh, so these North Pole, using these North Pole and the South Pole, people use to do their work. Oh, what are the things uh, men can do using uh, the magnets? Common things. In toys, in every toys, uh, in sometimes uh, in pencil cases also, you have a simple magnet. And in refrigerators, we can close the refrigerator uh, by having a magnet inside that. Otherwise, we can't uh, close the refrigerator properly. And in handbags also, maybe you have your own experience, your mother's having uh, handbags and how does she close that? It has a small memory. Some handbags, not every handbags. And in uh, some uh, electric motors and the generators also have magnets. And the other one is explorers, soldiers, pilots use magnets to find the route using the compass. A compass is a thing that we can find the direction. Okay, uh, now uh, the compass always shows the north direction, and using that compass, we can easily find out in which way we are now, in which way to we should go. It's a very helpful uh, thing uh, to do our make work easier. Um, sometimes electricity or uh, the electricity is helping us to do lots of things very easily. Now we are going to do uh, an experiment. You can do this experiment at home also uh, with the help of your parents. We are going to make a simple circuit. I think uh, most of you have known how to build a simple circuit. Let's see what are the things that you need. A battery, of course, and some wires and a bulb. Okay, so how do you make a simple circuit? Simply, you have to connect these accordingly and line the bulb. When you uh, now, this is the battery, and uh, I have a uh, drawn here a switch also, uh, which is uh, whether you can switch off the bulb or switch on the uh, bulb. So there is a bulb. Okay, and the current flow from here to here, then light will, uh, the bulb will light very easily. That is one simple thing that you can do at home to build a circuit. Uh, then, <laughs> lighting the bulb, there are many uh, ways of making uh, the series and the parallel circuits. How to make series and parallel circuits? What are called series circuits and what are called 
parallel circuits. These things are very important. Let's see. Uh, change in the number of bulb. Now think that we need more brightness. So what we are doing is we are adding more and more bulbs. Okay. Now if we are adding more and more bulbs, there are more things that should come. Okay. Now let's see. A series circuit is circuit that has more than one bulb. When we are talking about change in the number of bulbs, we are talking the change in the number of the bulb. Remember that. Okay. So we want more brightness, then we are adding more bulbs. So that is called the series of circuits. Then, but on one part, but only one part through uh, which the electricity flows from one end of the battery to the other end of the battery. Now you can see here, okay, there is only one bulb, okay, and some wires are connected here. We have two bulbs, that means uh, we have more brightness. So this is a series circuit which has two bulbs in it. What will happen? You can uh, do this experiment at home also. What will happen to the brightness of the bulbs? When we have one bulb in a circuit, the brightness of the bulb. And when we have two bulbs in the circuit, the brightness of the bulbs. What will happen? It's up to you to decide uh, and uh, to get a conclusion what will happen. Observe these by doing this experiment at home. A parallel circuit. In a parallel circuit, what is a uh, in parallel circuit? We have one bulb and two different parts. Two different parts are joined to the two bulbs. Now let's see the previous one. The same part is there. The current flow in the same path. The next one, the current flow in a different path. So that is two different things. Okay. Again, we are going to the previous one. I told you one path is there and I told you to observe what will happen to the brightness of the paths. Next one also, we are changing uh, the paths to two different paths. And the two bulbs. What will happen to the brightness of the bulb? Observe these things by doing this experiment. What will happen to the brightness of the bulb? This is such circuit hole. Such like this circuit hole are parallel circuits. Then, now I told you. When more, more, more than one bulbs are included in a circuit, what will happen? Now let's see. More batteries are included in a circuit. What will happen? As you can see in this picture, two bulbs are there. Okay. And one there. Sorry, two batteries are there. One bulb is there. And it has, it's a circuit, kind of circuit. And second picture, three batteries are there. One bulb is there. If we made these circuits separately, what are the observations that we see? Okay. We see the color, the brightness of this bulb is greater than this bulb. The brightness of the second picture bulb is more than the first picture's bulb. Why is that? Yes, of course. Why? We have here three batteries. But here have only two batteries. The, what is called it? Huh? Um, as more batteries are added in series, there are more batteries. Here only two, here has three. So more batteries are added in series. More current is available. More current is available in three batteries than two batteries. Then what will happen? The bulb uh, bulbs become 
right? Here the bulb's brightness is lower than this one. And here the brightness more brighter than this one. Okay, right. Now let's see, how does water help us to make our work easier? Does water help us to do our work easier? Yes, of course, water help us, but not with water. Water has some kinds of things joining. What are the things that join? We are talking about the water being jalar there. Right? Now let's see, how does water help us? Using the water wheel. Now we already know we get electricity to the whole country. We get the electricity through the water electricity. How does this water electricity get from us? It's because of this water wheel. Can you see this? This diagram shows how does the water wheel works. When the water is flowing here from the arm. And then uh, the it comes to the water wheel, and suddenly the water wheels starting to rotate. By rotating this part, rotating this wheel, it is uh, connected to the turbine and to the uh, tur uh, turbine in a uh, in a process in a very big process. Uh, final stage is the electricity. Okay, water wheel is a machine for converting the energy flow energy of flowing water into useful form of power often in a water mill a water wheel consists of a wheel with a number of blades or buckets arranged uh, on the outside rim for forming the driving car here have some kinds of uh, buckets something like that to fill water by filling this water, the water uh, because of the water, uh, the heavy of the water, the water wheel is starting to rotate. This is the process of, this is the first stage of processing the uh, electricity using the water. This is very helpful way to do our make, to make our work easier using the water. Okay, now uh, we discuss uh, many things with you all. What are the things that we uh, can do uh, to make our work easier? I hope you all have enjoyed and understood the lesson. We will meet you in another day. God bless you.